The 2014 Porsche Cayman The second-generation Porsche Cayman was unveiled in 2012, seven years after the nameplate made its debut on the same platform as the Boxster. The upgrade brought a new body design, a longer wheelbase, a wider front track, and a revised interior that matched the styling of the more upscale 911 model. The redesign also brought more power to the table, with both the base and S models gaining updated flat-six engines alongside tweaked six-speed manual and seven-speed PDK transmissions. As a result, the new Cayman was quicker and had better handling and driving dynamics. Unlike its predecessor, the second-generation Cayman also spawned a GTS variant, previously available only on the 911. The sportier model was followed by the Cayman GT4 in 2015, a more track-oriented sports car that borrowed its engine from the 911 Carrera S. The GT4 Club Sport was another premiere for the nameplate. Developed by Porsche Motorsport for racing, it featured several weight-reducing measures, a mechanical rear axle locking differential, and a race-spec interior with a racing bucket eat and six-point harness. The second-gen Cayman received an extensive facelift in 2016, when Porsche not only revised its design, but also changed the name and replaced the flat six units with turbocharged four-cylinder engines. Continue reading to learn more about the 2014 Porsche Cayman. Exterior Porsche calls its new Cayman a completely new model, but its significant changes aren't that obvious. You need a really keen eye to notice the difference between the old and the new, either way you will just say, well, this is just a Cayman. The 2014 Cayman is built on an extended wheelbase with shorter overhangs that help improve its aerodynamics. Up front, the Cayman has received new cooling air intakes with integrated four-point daytime running lights. Yes, these will be the only elements that will help you identify the new Cayman viewing it from the front. For the rear, Porsche did a few more updates, including a new boot lid made from aluminum, an LED brake light at the upper edge of the rear window and a new rear spoiler that deploys at a steeper angle. The new Cayman is being offered with a set of new wheels, 18-inch rollers for the Cayman and 19-inch rims for the Cayman S as an option. Customers can also get 20-inch Carrera S design, 20-inch Carrera Classic with bi-color styling and the all-new 20-inch Sport Techno rims from the exclusive program. All wheels can be combined with the high-performance Porsche Ceramic Composite Brake PCCB system. Interior Inside the cabin, the Cayman has been updated to offer the driver a sporty comfort. The entire interior has been designed around the driver. The steering wheel and the gear level being placed a short distance from each other, and all of the buttons and functions of the onboard computer are intuitively accessible. Customers are being offered with the possibility to choose from a large selection of colors and materials, so each can express his own individuality. Engine Just like with its soft top sibling, the Cayman comes with a choice of two highly efficient, flat six engines mounted just in front of the rear axle. The standard Cayman comes with a 2.7-liter version that delivers 275 horsepower and the S version gets a 3.4-liter with an output of 325 ponies. Both engines come standard with a manual 6-speed gearbox and have an optional 7-speed PDK available. Both versions of the Cayman can be updated with a Sport Chrono package that includes dynamic gearbox mounts, a performance display, a digital and analog stopwatch and the Sport Plus button. This package will help your Cayman deliver better 0 to 60 mph times. For example, the standard Cayman will do the sprint in 5.4 seconds and the Cayman S with PDK in 4.7 seconds, but when equipped with the Sport Chrono, the Cayman S hits 60 mph in 4.4 seconds. The standard Cayman will hit a top speed of 165 mph and the Cayman S will go up 175 mph. Price the 2014 Porsche Cayman will be put on sale in the spring of 2013. Prices will start from $52,600 for the Cayman and $63,800 for the Cayman S. Prices do not include a destination charge of $950. Competition 2014 Audi TTS Those looking for a compact sport coupe won't opt for the Cayman. A car like this is just a trifle and you will buy it just from the brand's name. Instead there are cars out there with the same performance figures and significantly cheaper. 
One of them is the Audi TTS, a model priced at $47,350. The TTS is powered by a 2.0-liter TFSI engine that delivers a total of 265 horsepower and can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.9 seconds. 2013 Audi TT RS In a response to the Cayman S, we also present the TT RS. It is competitive at $57,200 and it comes with a 2.5-liter, 5-cylinder engine with 360 horsepower. The model will sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds and can hit a top speed F174 miles per hour. The TTRS is a worthy adversary in a straight line and likely even in the twist. However, in overall driving experience and build quality, you cannot beat the Porsche. Conclusion The second-gen Cayman might not boast that many new features on the outside, but it's a completely new car underneath that streamlined body. The longer wheelbase and wider front track given it better handling and dynamics, while the updated suspension system and more powerful engines give it that extra oomph on the racetrack. It's still not as exciting as the mighty 911, but Porsche is finally letting the Cayman perform closer to its true potential. Love it more power lighter prices remain pretty much unchanged. Leave it what updates? Still expensive than competition. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.